welcome to Noah's Window. We're pre-taping this, but we want to tell you Merry Christmas. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And we just want to spend a little time with you this morning talking about the celebration on such a special day. Yeah, it is a day worth celebrating. You know, every once in a while, someone will come to me and say, why don't we celebrate, you know, Christmas? You know, someone will say it's a pagan holiday. Well, well if you want to talk about the solstice, I guess, I guess somebody could say that. And then there are those who will say, well, we don't know which day that Jesus was born. We don't know, and we couldn't know. But I know the Word of God tells us that there's a day that's meaningful to some, and there's a day, it, the same day may not be meaningful to that person, so they should just do what they believe in their heart. Well, this day's meaningful to me because yes. our culture has set aside a day, be it the right day or not the right day, as far as history goes, but a day to celebrate the birth of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And for me, I've always loved to celebrate Christmas. Yes. And it's been big. I know it was big in your family. Absolutely. And it was big in the family that I grew up in. As you can tell behind mm -hmm. us, it's a day that we love to celebrate with our family. God willing, a little later today, our family will be coming yes. over and we'll be looking forward to celebrating. But, but what is it about Christmas Day that makes it worth celebrating? Um, we know obviously that Jesus came, but I want to go down to the book of 1 Timothy chapter 1 in the 15th verse, and I want to read a verse to you that you may have heard before, but I wonder if we've ever associated with it, this with Christmas. The Apostle Paul wrote, this is a tr trustworthy saying, if you memorized in the King James like I did, it's, mm -hmm. it's a faithful saying. This is a trustworthy saying, and everyone should accept it. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. To me, that's what makes Christmas worth celebrating. I am a sinner mm. and I needed saving. And Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. So when you look at the tinsel and the trees and the lights and the music and all the things that we celebrate, the gifts under the tree, the celebration is that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. And Paul added this, and I am the worst of them all, which I think most of us, at least on days, we would feel what mm -hmm. the Apostle Paul felt. I, I am the worst of them all. But you know what? If Jesus came into the world to save me, I'm going to be okay. And yes. everything that we've talked about leading up to Christmas, the promises, the wise men, the angels, mm -hmm. Anna and Simeon, and all the things, all the different elements of the story, they all go to that one end, that Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners and I'm a sinner that means he came for me what yes do you think, Mary? I love that and you think that that Messiah that was promised all the way back in Genesis 3 after 4,000 years he arrived and although that was 2,000 years ago the faithful keeping of that promise reminds us that he's coming back and and that salvation is what we're looking forward to uh, in the future but as you said our sins are forgiven. What a gift. You know, there are a lot of gifts under the tree, wherever you are, but there's no gift that compares to that forgiveness that we receive because Jesus Christ came into this world. Well, as we talked about last week, there were signs leading up to the coming of the Lord the first time. There were some who were watching the signs. There were many who were not. There are signs leading up now to the second coming of Jesus, to the rapture. And I want to be among those like Simeon and Anna who are watching for the coming of the Lord because the signs of the time point to the fact that his next coming could be very soon. So I pray today that you have a wonderful Christmas and thank you for joining us on Noah's Window. I mean, it means the world to us that you want this to continue and we love hearing from you. But from our home to your home, we hope you have a blessed and wonderful Christmas. Mary Alice, would you pray for us today? Yes, let's pray. Oh, Father, we're so thankful that we can set aside a day to celebrate Jesus and to celebrate his coming the first time and to look forward to his coming the second time. But most of all, we're so thankful that because he came, our sins can be forgiven. And we just pray for each and every person that's watching or listening today. If they've not yet reached out to accept that forgiveness, that today would be the day. What a wonderful day on Christmas Day to know that their sins are forgiven. And we just pray that you would uh, meet each and every need. I pray that the family celebrations today would be sweet ones, uh, thinking of you and celebrating you. And we'll be careful to give you the glory and the honor and the praise. And with all these things, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.
Well, thank you, Mary Alice, and Merry Christmas. I pray you yes. have a wonderful, blessed day, and God willing, we will see you tomorrow. Merry Christmas. See you tomorrow. God bless.